Hey, welcome back to Pilar. I picked up Volume 1, Volume 2 of Space Ghost, Coast to Coast. Enjoyed this show a lot on uh, Adult Swim. I do remember seeing it a bit in the 90s, like in very random times it seemed like. But a funny show. Let's open up these volumes. Check it out. This one got used. This one's brand new. And uh tell you what I don't like about this cover here in a second. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's start with volume one here. So I picked this up used. I think it was a little more than 10 bucks, maybe. I think we both wore a little more than 10. Uh, but anyway, I think it's worth it. It was less than 20 though, pretty sure. So I'll take a look at this first one here. So the box is a little beat up, not too bad. Got the classic art of the TV screen. I like this cover a lot, so. And we'll get into why I don't like the next cover in a second. So some wear and tear. So it looks like it opens up here. I'm not sure if it's complete or not, but it said it was. So let's hope so. Some more Hanna Barbera type art. So disc one, disc two. Two DVDs. Zorak, Moltar, Space Ghost, and Brack on that one. Always a big fan of, of Zorak's comedy on the show. I enjoyed that too. I like that. And I actually like Space Ghost, the original Saturday morning cartoon. Well, I guess the second run actually. Because I wasn't around for the first one. In 66, I think he came out. And then I think in 81... He was a Saturday morning cartoon with the Herculoids. Uh, like, I guess, it was, I think it was a whole hour. So, like this set, this, this is like, I identify this with Adult Swim. And this background, this pose, everything. Like, I relate this to Adult Swim instantly. So, that is volume one. Looks like they washed it quite a bit. And now we'll look at Space Ghost, Ghost to Ghost Volume 2. This is in wrap. So it sounds like they only made two new episodes for the Adult Swim run. And I think there's a couple specials as well. But those mid to late 90s was a really good time in TV. I think crackle this over while I'm talking. It was a really good time in TV. You had Adult Swim in 2001, and then this was actually, like I said, I think it said 94 through 99. And um, you had Pro Wrestling, the Attitude Era, the Monday Night Wars, you had Xena, Hercules. So a lot of good TV in this time frame. Now let's talk about this cover. Like this, this guy dressed up in you know a sloppy-looking space ghost uh, outfit with a pony. This to me is like when people, I guess, you kind of get a big head. Like, oh, we're popular. People like us. Let's do something. Let's do something edgy, and it'll be so funny. And it's, it's not. It's just, it's just stupid looking. It's a stupid looking guy. It's a stupid idea. The reason you watch it. Is because this relates back to Space Ghost. And you're like, oh, I remember that guy. I've seen this guy before. And then you watch it like, what the heck is going on? And, you know, and you probably enjoy it. This is some kind of half, half-ass, uh, like, SNL take, I guess, on their cover. I don't know. I don't, I really, I, you know, I hate this cover. Yeah, I don't like this cover at all. I don't like this guy's face. I don't like the idea. I don't like this pony. I don't like this dog. Well, I don't know. Can't see the dog really. But anyways, not a fan of that. But I say the back of this doesn't have any, you know, volume one is volume one. So they have some critic stuff here, calling it like <laughs> sadly unsatisfying, dumb, only amuses itself. That's like the cover. 
needs some work, jarring, incomprehensible, and so on and so on. So of course critics, you know, at the time, well almost any time, usually don't, they don't understand stuff like this. So it's not surprising. Unless they're talking about this, all this sounds like the cover to me. So there's that. Uh, I do like this spine. Uh, this spine doesn't have anything, yeah. That's cool, has the comic book uh, dot matrix art. Well, it's called dot matrix art or not. But the dot art, that's cool, I like that a lot. I'm not a fan of this, SGC to C. I know I get what it says, and, uh, anyways. Got some extras here. Interview. So this one, part one has some extras as well. Yeah, special features. Some commentaries and stuff. Yeah, Weird Al. Uh, that Bobcat Goldwig. And plenty of people have been on there, so it's worth a worth a view. So no art on these covers. That's okay. Looks to be in really good shape. I do like that. That's pretty cool. So Space Ghost originally had some pretty cool powers. Could you know breathe in space? His armband. And like heat, magnetism, force, and I think freeze. Yeah, freeze, of course. The spine back the way it goes. But I'm sure these work fine, so I am happy with this purchase. There you go. Just not happy about this cover. I would much rather it just almost be the same as this and just say volume two. <laughs> I'd be happy with that instead of this. All right, that's enough about the cover that I don't like. That's a cool symbol though. But if you're a fan, I think these are still under 20 bucks. I don't I think I've seen this. I haven't seen this like on, you know, the, the Tubi app or anything like that, or uh, Pluto, I haven't looked. So I don't know if they're free out there right now. So if you're a fan, I would pick them up. Why more than two? Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.